Oh yes, another day. Here we go. Hit that like button for me, would you? Let's take over the airwaves. And stop this peasant epidemic. And by peasant, I don't mean broke. Talking about poor thinking. It's so easy to do, right? That's okay. We got a support group in the comments below. Maybe another thousandaire will be willing to assist you. And remember, we all have a little peasant in us. So don't feel bad. Duh, don't point that thing at your head, okay? Yeah, it's not that bad. What's the weather like where you are? I'm cold. I'm in a shirt, sweater, big coat, sock hat, scarf already early in the morning yelling into my phone i'm like a motivational rooster get your ass up out of bed <laughs> what the hell you're still here all right i'll show you some things i bought at the coin shop yesterday it's been a while i actually bought some bouillon gonna make some silver soup later i saw this eagle and i was like i gotta buy that one ounce of silver for 26 bucks it was already in the capsule look at that eagle it kind of looks like a griffin i think it's so cool looking it's an eagle, but it's edgy. One of the things I like when I buy generic silver is that it has a stamp on it from a mint. I want to find out who made it. I don't want something that's just silver with no tag on it. Right away, I'm like, this this looks like some high quality generic. So the Silverado Mint. I will look that up right now and make it look like I already know something. Been struggling for two minutes now, and uh, I just keep seeing Silverado trucks. I guess Google search is just corrupted with advertisements. I already gave up. If you know anything about the Silverado Mint, comment below. I'm like the worst YouTuber ever. Now, this is why I went to the coin shop for my weekly silver dollar. It's already week 21. Can you believe it? Of course you can. If time's gonna fly, then so shall too my accumulation of old silver dollars and they're getting cheaper not just the ones i'm buying now but yeah the uh, 20 i already bought are cheaper Ooh. that's one of the reasons why i just buy one a week i don't speculate on the price over time the cost average will sort everything out unless they just slowly go to zero for the next 30 or 40 years yeah i'm betting against that let me know in the comments below where you're investing your at least 10 percent of earnings each week you are saving or investing at least 10 percent of your earnings each week aren't you aren't you aren't you no matter how tough things are for you i imagine that living off 90 percent of what you earn is not going to make much of a difference in your consumption that is but if you can live off 90 percent or less and invest the rest let's face it that's where it all starts even if you don't have a high paying job develop these habits now before you do if you don't already know there are poor people with high paying jobs because they keep finding shit to spend their money on the more they make i would even argue that these are some of the poorest people in america because their high paying job allows them to be extended lots of credit and they are in a lot of debt and that job they have is the linchpin of all of their wealth if they lose it and can't replace it with another high paying job well everything unravels quickly for them. If you want to know more about that, look up the Millionaire Next Door audiobook. It's on YouTube for free. Listen to it, read it, come back to my channel, comment about it. I would love to read those comments and comment on those comments myself. All right, YouTube's not paying the bill, so I need to get in gear and go to work and get ready. If you have a YouTube channel, just comment below and I will go to your channel and watch a video, hit the like button and comment. And I will see you later. And if you stayed here this long, you should probably subscribe for more. Adios, amigos. And a catchy thumbnail.